Lucinda with Creative Compass Homeschool and today I wanted to tell you about this math curriculum that I have recently discovered over the summer and I love it. I cannot wait to put it to use in our next, um, this next year in school. So um, before I get started telling you about it, I want to tell you a little bit about last year with math. We were new homeschoolers and I started out the year just kind of saying like, well, it's just kindergarten. We'll just, you know, we got some lakeshore learning games and we use manipulatives and things like that. I just wanted to be really hands-on. And I got to where I, I started to feel like I needed some guidance. So I started trying out some other math curriculums um, or some of my first math curriculums. We tried a Waldorf one that was really fun, but um, my oldest, my kindergartner, who's going to be in first grade, he just needs a challenge. So the Waldorf curriculum didn't really work for us. Then we tried um, Math UC, very popular, um, hands-on, but what I didn't care for is uh, that we use the same manipulatives. I felt like that got kind of boring for him. And also Math UC is a mastery approach. And so um, for him, just repeating the same thing over and over and over again, the redundance, it was very boring for him. So I, this summer, started researching, excuse me, let me get my little dog here, she loves to be in my lap. Um, I started researching this summer living math, um, because I know that in math, um, we need to, math is not just something that we want by worksheets on paper all the time, math is something that we use every day in life, and so... I started looking for living math ideas and I came across um, Charlotte Mason's math and how she uses um, a lot of living math and a lot of different manipulatives and she suggests using different manipulatives all the time, always introducing new manipulatives because that's how we use math. We don't use it for one thing all the time. So um, in the middle of looking at that, I came across this book. It's called Math Lessons for a Living Education. And I love it. When I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, show you this a little more close up, but I want to tell you a couple things about it. First of all, um, I'll post it in the um, down below where I got it. It's from masterbooks.com. I do want to start off by telling you that it is, um, it is Christian based. It's a living math. It's a Charlotte Mason approach. It's written by Angela O'Dell and um, Kristen Carlson. And I love that it goes by levels and not by grade. That way, if your child is struggling, then they don't have to feel like they have to be up with a certain level. So this is level two. My son will be in first grade. He is, like I said, he is a head in math. He really enjoys it. So I went ahead and got level two. I think it's going to be perfect for him. So, and a whole, um, that, this book, $28, will get you through a whole year. So, I'm going to walk you through a little bit more about Okay, it. so, I wanted to show you a little bit more about this book. Um, it goes over a little bit about manipulatives, and then I really love, it has, um, it has a lesson for each day of the week, and then it shows you, um, what you should be doing each day with a check off, and then the date that it's done. So if you need that, you can use that. Um, and then what the, what makes this book so different from other math books is, and I've never seen this before, it starts out with a story about um, this little girl Charlie and Charlotte. They are homeschooled and um, sometimes they go to their grandparents' farm and they do things outdoors. And they they learn a lot of different, um, different things. And so you start out each week with a story. And then um, this first week is review. I really love that the lessons, that the exercises are short. So your child is not going to spend a lot of time on each work page. And I love that because then you can do a math game or go to the kitchen and bake or um, whatever else to put some living math into your um, daily math learning. Um, so, um, so this is, that was the review. This right here is where it really starts and it's, um, starts out with doing some simple addition. 
Um, and then, um, see it doesn't have the mastery approach, and this is actually perfect for us. Then we learn about the months, the days of the week, we write them out, and then um, some more addition, and then we make our own clock. So it has projects in it where we're actually um, doing hands-on math, and so my son is going to love this. I think all children love hands-on, but sometimes moms, um, we're just busy and we don't know how to get started with hands-on. Um, and we don't, we don't feel like we have the time, um, and the resources and doing all the prep work and everything for it. So this book is really perfect for that because it, um, has very simple hands-on activities that kids will enjoy. So, um, another thing I wanted to, um, tell you that I love is that, um, in these stories, they are not just about math. The stories are also about, um, they also have in them science and history. So, um, and they love that because again, that's how math works in our, in our daily lives is we use it in everything. So I love this book. So after I discovered this awesome math curriculum, my wheels started turning and I thought I want just a box of manipulatives that we use almost daily in math and that we can just bring out and the kids can choose what they want to count with. I'm going to have a preschooler, a kindergartner, and a first grader. And so I made up this box right here. And I'm going to, it's very heavy. I am going to, um, in a minute, take you through this box and show you everything that we put in it. I love this. I think that um, any homeschool could benefit from just a box of math manipulatives. The kids helped me put it together. They got super excited. They cannot wait to get into it. It looks like a big box of toys for them. I also want to say that we didn't spend much, actually we really hardly spent anything making this. This was all stuff that was already around our house and um, already in our homeschool room and things like that. So um, I'm going to show you this box. Enjoy. Okay. In our box of manipulatives, I just want to show you some of the things we have. We have, um, I got these little erasers. I think that this is the one thing I did buy specifically for this box. Um, I start off with something telling you that I did buy. Um, this is just little animal erasers that I got at Oriental Trading Company. And I think it has, has well over 100 in there. And then we had some little plastic toy fish um, laying around. So we have those in there for counting. Um, I printed these up. I'll post the link below uh, to where I printed them up at. Uh, it's for the measuredmom.com. Anyhow, they are our monster math cards. They are laminated. They go one through a hundred, and we play all sorts of games with these. We blind, we, we do like blindfolds and try to figure out what the missing number is, and we just have a lot of fun with our monster math cards. We play lots of games, and then let's see. We of course have money. We have. Um, these are our coins. We got those from Lakeshore Learning. I can post a link below as well. Um, these are seashells. I We have just all sorts of different interesting things in here. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun because not only can we count, add, subtract, um, do multiplication, do games with them, but we can also do graphing. So we can graph how many flat seashells there are, how many round seashells. Um, one of my sons loves all things cowboy, so I got some cowboy erasers. Yeah, those will be something else um, that he'll really enjoy. Uh, let's see here. Another, another really great thing I don't have in this box, but a great thing would be to add is Legos. Legos are amazing for math, um, for engineering, and also for counting and things like that. Um, we also have a little set of race cars in here, just little tiny like micro race cars. So those will be fun. And then let's see, we have all sorts of different jars in here. These are our beans in case we need to count to 200 or whatever. Like we needed something really small. So we put a set of beans in there. And whoopsies, we also have lots of bugs. Again, these will be fun for graphing. How many, how many bugs have six legs? How many bugs have wings? How many bugs have more than eight legs, things like that, um, along with other fun things that we can do with those. Um, we have measuring cups in here. We have learning wrap-ups. These were given to us. Um, they are from Saxon Math, but I know that you can get them at a lot of different 
um, homeschool resource places. We had a lot of dice, and so I put them in here. There are so many things you can do with dice, so we will do different games and things with those. And, um, my kids, they love projects. They just love to work on projects, so I had them paint 12 rocks for me. This is our math clock, so um, or our rock clock, I should say. And so you can take these and lay them out in a circle from 1 to 12, and then we have sticks in there. We love things that are from nature and that sort of thing. Makes everything different and fun. We have buttons. We have we have just plastic numbers and phone numbers and um, addition and multiplication and subtraction magnetic pieces um, to go with our magnetic pieces. We have a um, wipe clean lap board that's also magnetic. We use a lot of lap boards when we are doing math. Um, and that way we can do dry erase and things like that. We have a small ruler. I'd like to, I definitely need to get a larger ruler for this. Um, and then we have popsicle sticks. These are gonna be excellent for geometry and for making, making the shapes, making a square, a triangle, an octagon, a pentagon, and counting how many sides we have. Uh, we have, okay, so we have counting bears, but they also, um, oops, again, this is something that, um, was given to me, so I'm not, I'm not really sure, oh, it looks like it says on there it's from Learning Resources, I love Learning Resources, they have so much fun, inexpensive stuff, so these are counting and pattern bears, my, uh, kindergartner and my preschooler will, will, um, definitely benefit from those. And then, I love these. These are so much fun. These are our Play-Doh mats. We got these from Lakeshore Learning. And I will um, also post down below where I got them. And then I have a thing of, um, thing of Play-Doh in. So we can, we can put Play-Doh balls on and count. My kindergartner struggles with uh, number recognition. And letter recognition, actually. He str struggles with all symbol recognition. So... Um, I think that those are going to be really great for him this year. And um, we have another, um, not a ruler, but a measuring tape. We have our money. More money, money. And let's see here. There's a shark out in here. Uh, we have uh, just some more toys. These are sea, sea creatures. That's where the shark came from. Put him up there. Uh, this is from Learning Resources. I got this on Amazon, and it's just a counting family that comes with dice and um, colors, so whether you're working on numbers or colors, it's just a really fun game for like the preschool, kindergarten, first grade stage. And then I have had these since I was homeschooled many long years ago. They're Unifix cubes. I, um, I'm sure you can probably grab them on Amazon or Rainbow Resource. Look at all this stuff I'm laying out. These I got, they're uh, like Montessori counting sticks. And I love this set. I love, it has, um, I mean, you can just do everything with them. So those are fun. And then we got from Lakeshore Learning, we have our, um, our Callie the Teaching Time Clock. And the kids love this. It talks to you, it plays games with you, and the kids will just sit down and um, and play with it so they they really enjoy that and we can also teach um, teach lessons and things like that on there we have some other clocks as well but that's the one I decided to put in here and then we have an abacus and if you can see that the lighting's a little bad but has different different colors on it and great for learning to count by certain numbers and addition subtraction multiplication and division so that there you have it that's everything that we have in our box that we will be using on a daily basis and then um, we have a lot of Lakeshore learning games as well maybe sometime I'll do a video on that so thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day